Welcome to Affairs in Order with Gigi. I'm Gigi, and on this channel, my husband and I will be trying to get and keep our financial affairs in order. We will be doing this by budgeting, cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, and credit card debt payoff. If this sounds like something you'd enjoy, please continue watching and let's be budgeting and financial friends. Hey BFFs! On today's video, we will be cash stuffing $545 from our July 21st paycheck. So let's get to stuffing. Alright, let's count our money. Got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, oops, 95, 5, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So that's right. So let's get our money in our tray. Did you guys have a good week? Did you do good on your budget? Have you started your budget? Y'all, that's the first step. Is just to start. Write down all your expenses and your bills, everything. And then just go from there. It's, it's, I, when we found the cash stuffing method, I was just flipping through YouTube and saw um, a recommendation. Um, I think it was uh, Beautifully Me and You. And I watched it. And then um, the uh, Aesthetic Dollar come in, Emily, um, and I watched that, and I just continued watching and watching and watching, and I was so fascinated by this method, because um, in the past, budgeting was like, you know, a bad B word for me, because I just thought it meant restriction, you couldn't do anything, you were just strapped down, and no, that, that's, that was just a misconception on my part and um i grabbed some just little plain envelopes and i wrote down our our bills everything and i started you know stuffing those now we still pay all of our um bills electronically because that's what works best for us and budgeting is individual it is different for every single person and um, you can't compare your budget to someone else's. Now the method, yes, the method could work, but every, everybody's income is different. The, the bills that they have are, are different. So you just have to figure out what works best for you. But the biggest piece of advice that I can give is just to start. Um, and I kept watching and watching and watching and then I was doing my own little envelopes and um, I told my husband I was like I'm gonna try this this method and he was like mm, I don't know if that's gonna work and then he started seeing the results and he was like oh okay I can you know I can get on board with this and um, we would we would lay in bed at night watching watching budgeted videos and he just looked over at me one night and he was like you know honey he was like why don't you start your own channel and I'm like 
Well, no, I'm new to this budgeting method. I, I can't do that. And he was like, well, of course you can. He's like, everybody has to start somewhere. So, thanks to my hubby, here I am. And um, I, couldn't, I couldn't be happier with this method. It is just, it's, it's awesome. But um, let's get into to stuffing. We're gonna start, this is our variable expenses binder. And today we are going, I got my little cheat sheet over here to the side. So today we're going to be stuffing $60 into groceries. That's 20, 40, 60. And then we already have some money in here. I wait till the end of the month to clear my envelopes. Um, I know some, some do it, you know, every week, but I think it works best for us. They're again, being individualized with the budget. It works best for us to leave them the money in here and, and do it like that. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50. Now in groceries, that's usually, usually we are between a hundred and a hundred and fifty dollars a week but um, that includes anything that you get from the grocery store for us so uh, paper towels toilet paper anything like that um, gas this week is going to get 50 so let me pull this out we're gonna do 20 40 and 50 Let's count what we have. We have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 60, 70, 85. So we've got 185 in gas. skipping dine out because we already have um, money in there and usually we don't uh, we don't we don't hardly ever dine out we will get takeout and bring it home but there's already money in there. there's 146 in there household is not getting anything this week um, it's got 110 in there miscellaneous not getting anything. It's got 150. Giving will be getting its usual 20. So it's got 20, 40, 60 in giving. And I don't keep a tracker on giving um, because we just give, like I said, I'll, I'll empty this out at the end of the month and we will just disperse that whenever. Family is not getting anything this week. Uh, family has a hundred in it. Um, I'm going to get circus tickets um, for my um, oldest granddaughter and grandson. Um, so got that in there for those that's not until next year when you go ahead and plan hubby will be getting his usual 40. so he will be getting two 20s so hubby has 20 40 60 80 in his envelope All right, and that's it for this binder. 
Now we'll go to the white one. Put my paperweight down there. All right, medical will be getting 20 this week. I have a doctor's appointment coming up in August and I already know how much I have to pay. So going ahead and getting prepared. So medical has 100, 200, Twenty dollars in that envelope. And I'll update the trackers off off camera. Uh, car maintenance this week is going to get fifty. If you um was that already open? Yeah. If you watch my budget with me this week, uh Hubby said he needed some windshield wipers for his truck. So we'll go ahead and prepare for that. Oh, that is a crusty, dusty five. It's just folding everywhere. So in car maintenance, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. Now in car maintenance. That's how they got his stuff for his oil change. All right, emergency fund is not getting anything this week. There's a thousand dollar placeholder um, that represents the money that we have in our bank account um, using kind of the Dave Ramsey inspired method. Uh, I say inspired because we don't follow everything. Uh, we do pay our bills online and we don't cash stuff those uh, so he recommends that you have a thousand dollar emergency fund so we have that um credit card debt i will be coming back to um pet care is going to be getting 20 this week um the baby's just got groomed on the 15th and we know that'll be coming up again um, in September so we'll start stuffing a little bit so that we have that ready when it's time for them to be groomed again and now credit card debt um, this week because I try to put some in every week credit card debt will be getting 75 All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 75. Let's get this straightened up and we'll count to see how much we have in here. Okay, and credit card debt now we have one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 80, 98, 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So 890 for credit card debt. At the end of the month, I'll pull this out and make one big payment. It's getting full. All right, and let's see what we have left. Let me put my holder down. 
Now we have left. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 2, 10. So we'll be using the 210 for our savings challenges to stuff in our next video. So I'll put that to the side. That's it for this video. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them um, down in the comments below. Thank you guys so, so, so much. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. It means the world to me. Um, just watching my little channel grow and that wouldn't be possible without you guys. Uh, and I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't be more thrilled. And I, I thank you so much. So, so, so much. Um, a little housekeeping always. If you'd please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell um, so that you guys will know every time I upload a new video. I hope to upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, until next time, friends.